The iPhone 15 was anticipated to come with an 18% larger battery capacity, potentially providing up to 24 hours of video playback when factoring in the increased size and improved processor efficiency. However, this expectation did not materialize and the iPhone 15 series ended up with the same battery life as its predecessors, despite the introduction of the efficient Apple A17 chipset in the Pro models. The European Commission legislation also mandated the switch to a USB-C port for data and charging, offering a more convenient charging experience and reducing cable waste. Rumors suggested that the iPhone 15 lineup would see battery capacity increases ranging from 12% for the iPhone 15 Pro Max to 18% for the standard iPhone 15. These thicker 2023 iPhones were expected to feature larger batteries and an improved stacked battery production method akin to electric vehicles. Unfortunately, none of these rumored battery sizes translated into actual battery life improvements. Reported battery sizes for the iPhone 15 series were as follows iPhone 15 Pro Max, 4852 mAh. iPhone 15 Pro, 3650 mAh. iPhone 15, 3877 mAh. Since the expected battery size increase did not occur, there were no corresponding improvements in battery life. Even with more efficient Apple A16 or A17 processors and newer OLED displays, Apple stated that the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro Max offered the same battery life as their predecessors. Yes, the iPhone 15 does indeed come with a USB-C port as predicted by serious analysts. This modern USB-C port supports power delivery capabilities, replacing the aging lightning port. Charging speeds for the Apple iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro Max were expected to include 50% charging in 30 minutes, 90 minutes for a full charge. While the transition to USB-C opened the door for faster charging, Apple decided to leave significant charging speed upgrades for future iPhone iterations, maintaining its incremental approach. However, it's possible that the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max may achieve peak charging speeds of 27W, 29W with the right Apple charger. The iPhone 15 continues to use Apple's 20W and 30W chargers for standard charging. Wireless charging options also remain the same with 15W MagSafe charging, without significant improvements. Regarding reverse wireless charging, the iPhone 15 does not offer this feature. Apple was reportedly working on implementing it for the iPhone 14, but it did not materialize. However, the new USB-C port does allow for reverse wired charging of the new USB-C AirPods case. Share your thoughts on this in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates and I'll catch you later. Peace out.